Back, back, back with a vengeance. KG's back with an entrance. Big up to those in attendance. Reds come together like Tetris. No rules, this one's reckless. You're too reckless. Bro, none can compare with the KG done. Better take cover when he drops that. Bon, bon, Going on bon, reckless, trust it's on. It's that time when he drops that. Bon, bon, bon. I said drop a bomb, Dad. Yo, 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 what's going on? What is going on? What's going on? My reckless delegation, good morning. Listen, happy Good Friday. Happy Good Friday out there to the people. Them, if that's you, happy Good Friday to you. Certain people know it's just fishing that today. It's one of those ones. My mom would do the, what do you call it? Fish pepper soup. Palm oil. Oh, yes. And yam. That's us. Breakfast, you know. Nah, nah, we were living good. Nah, happy Good Friday, though. Um, random times this week. Absolutely random times. My wife was like, right, you still like, it's bank holiday. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I said, absolutely. I'm getting live. Um, the fry fish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, man, listen, time to get into it. Fish and bread. <laughs> absolutely. Um, so yeah, man, let's get, let's go, man. Let's rock. Um, God forbid you will never eat anybody's soul. I'm um, an hour, hour, one hour, one hour. Yeah. You know, the ones where, because the kids are home, innit? <laughs> the kids are in. So, yeah, man, one hour. Let's see if I can, we can talk about everything we need to talk about and get out of here. Anyway, let's not waste no, let's not waste no time. Let's get straight into it. Gary Neville has been speaking on the overlap. All right, cool. As well as Gary Southgate is done with England, I've never seen him as a fit for Man United. <laughs> oh my God! Finally, there you go. That shouldn't even be like that's just normal. Yeah, I don't see Graham Potter as a fit, um, and that's a, that's been a strong rumor too. I don't see the fit between Gary or not. That's the maddest one. Um, let's carry on. Gary or Neville, instinctively as a fan, you hear the name and you feel it, or you don't feel it. It's not a feeling I've had. I've not woke, woke up and thought, they look like the Man United manager. Bro, imagine people moving like me, going with the vibes. He said, hold on. How do I feel about that one internally, though? Nah. <laughs> and that's it. Sometimes you just kind of go, go with your gut and say, that's wrong. And even you might not even need your gut to tell you that's wrong. It's just wrong. Simple, plain and simple. There's no, that makes no sense. Anyway, Gary Neville and Eric Ten Hag. I would like him to stay. Um, I'd like him to stay in the sense that I'm not quite sure at the moment who else is out there. This is crazy. So it wasn't a back-in. It wasn't a back-in. It was like, the others are rubbish. If Jurgen Klopp was on the market or you could get a world-class manager in, it would be a different story. So he's saying, listen, if there was somebody else available that was wicked, I sign him right now. I do the move. Like if Jurgen Klopp was just on the market, available, I go and bring him in. Um, Jurgen at Man United would just be wouldn't even make sense. Gary Neville, when you look at um, when you look at options, we could end up with someone who isn't as good as Eric Ten Hag or hasn't got his pedigree. Ten Hag has also um, has two years of experience at Old Trafford now. The fact that he's had a um, the fact that he's had a first good season, then a difficult one means he should be better for it. Agreed, totally agreed. Um, let me keep going. Gary Neville and Eric Ten Hag. For me, I don't like the idea of um, him leaving United. And United bringing in the kind of names that have been suggested that doesn't feel right. I'd rather, um, I'd rather stick with Ten Hag and believe in him. If he has another season like this, obviously he won't um, still be there. But we could still win the FA Cup and could sneak into the Champions League. So there you go. Like it's, it's. I would say it's quite balanced because maybe there's a lot, quite a few people that share those exact same sentiments. That well, who's available in the market and. We just don't know how the season's going to end because if we end up in the top four with a with an FA Cup um, with an FA Cup with an FA Cup trophy, that's a good season. Not even a that's a really good season. 
like for where we've been, where we're going, that's something that you can say, you know, Man United can build on this. Now, should a club like Man United be um, wishing and wanting more? Absolutely. But then you can say that, well, this is a step in the, the right direction. I kind of, I'm not angry with Gary Neville's takes today because they're, they're just like sensible ones. These are, that's sensible. You know, I don't know why there's been such a clamor from, from the media really about the next, because up till now, yeah, I don't even know who the number one options for the Chelsea job are. Who are the names? What is the list? No one's drawn one up. And I'm thinking, well, but Poch is doing worse than us. And I've not heard this, the, the story of who the next Chelsea manager is. Why is that happening? That's interesting. I find that quite suspicious. I find that a bit weird. You know, like, where's the list of names? Where's the, yeah, like, why is Gareth Southgate not being linked to, um, why is Southgate not being linked to the Chelsea job? <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> it just says, hey, yo, <laughs> yo, Ari Wekos, hey, yo. Um, they're just not trying to get their mate Southgate a job because they know he's going to get sacked. Um, it just feels a bit like it's strange. <laughs> yeah, it is, yo, yo. <laughs> um, um, that threw me off. I wasn't even reading the comments. Anyway, what else about what else is going on in the world of let's quickly just read some more stuff that I'm seeing on Twitter, formerly wait, on X, formerly known as Twitter. Um, what else is going on? Apparently, the Dan Ashworth, the Dan Ashworth movers has kind of slowed down. There's been a halt in negotiations. Apparently, Omar's gonna do the um Omar will be in charge of negotiations because. It's not, here we go, Man United make alternative plans following the problem with Dan Ashworth. I really think it's just going to be, we still plan to bring him in because we've we've told him, listen, leave your job. It's gardening, leave this, that, and the other. And I think this is just, a, this is probably just negotiation tactics. You know, when it's like, we really want him to come in. This is, at the moment, things are not good. Things are not great. Yeah, so we're going to get Omar to do it. Now, the plan is not for Omar to do that role. You know, it's going to, we want this guy to do it. But if we are too desperate, Newcastle will negotiate like this. Now, Newcastle still have to pay him. Newcastle, at the moment, they still have a sporting director on gardening leave. You know, they want to prepare for their summer. The money is too much. The money, they they didn't pay 20 million to Brighton. And they took him out and the, he started the season at the right time. So they're like, well, well, you didn't have to do that. Why are you making us do that? And you don't even value him. You lot said he didn't do nothing for you. Like even, do you know what I find really interesting, yeah? Check this out. So you know this Tonali thing that's come out, yeah? I remember good and well, this, let me read this thing. This is what I remember seeing. Yeah, and it's incredible how the game changes. Um... So remember when they said that Dan Ashworth did nothing at Newcastle? It was all just the team that was already there. He just came in and the job was already done. Now, all of a sudden, Luke Edwards from the Telegraph says, because on the Tenali situation, it was his job to do the um to do the required due diligence on every new signing. That was a major um, this was a major issue he failed to uncover. Dan Ashford leaves um Newcastle for Man United under a dark cloud. Sancho Tenali will be his legacy. So you're telling me right now, yeah, this is how these guys, the the pundits, journalists, and everyone moves. Anything bad that happens, he did it. Anything good that happens, had nothing to do with him. Well, which one is it? Because you lost, they said he had nothing to do with these things. There was all of them, this, that, and the other. I don't understand. And this is just, it's just letting you guys really, well, everyone should know right now how the media and how the journalists move. But there's just, there's an agenda. There's just something. They're always on their shenanigans. This guy, Dan Ashwood, before being linked to the uh, Man United job, would have been the best, it, like, the best ever. Like, that's how they, that's how they describe him when he's not linked to Man United. As soon as that red, as soon as you're linked with this club, yeah, they really start to find comb. And look at your situation. And we could do even, I think we could sign Mbappe. We're not getting to. But if we signed Mbappe, 
the talk would change. <laughs> it would. Be, they'll find issues with him. No, nah, but you see the problem with Mbappe, this, that, and the other. It's just, bro, it's mad. <laughs> it's mad. It's it's just disgusting. Anyway, um, also, let's do, we just got to build up to the Brentford game. Huge game. Um, implications are, are massive. Let me see what's going on with Spurs, actually. I don't even know who Spurs are playing. Weekend. Um, Spurs fixtures. Because we have to pay attention to them. Spurs fixtures. Oh, Tottenham versus Luton. That's a straight win. But they got West Ham on Tuesday. That's where we just need to stay in. We need to stay close to these lot. Let's go Aston Villa as well. Aston Villa. What they got coming up? Aston Villa fixtures. Wolves. Oh. Not bad that game there, you know. And then they got City on Wednesday. Yo. Man United, come on, man. Man United, do your work. Man United, please. <sighs> Chelsea Thursday. We're just in London. Mm. Damn, I hate football back. Yo, and and we we're gonna have to talk. We're gonna have to talk. Chimera. All right, cool. Let's let's go. Let's open the lines. Copy, boom. <sighs> Big games, you know. Mount Homecoming, yo. And the players, it's nice to see the players in training. They're saying that um, Lissandro, they're not sure if he's ready. He better be ready. About you're not sure if he's ready. Be ready, fam. Because you went to. You've been traveling. I want to see that you're ready to go straight away. Let me try and pin this um, link so people don't complain. Boom. Yo, Red Devils Down Under. Thanks for the gifted membership, bro. Appreciate you every single time. Um, wait. Let's, let's go. And go. Okay, that's not letting me edit like... Um, okay, let me touch that. Live. Boom. KG, come on, there you go. Pin it. Boom. Yep, done. Oh, just little yo-yo. KG, have you seen the Elmo links to United? Yes, I have seen that. Uh, um, Don't go anywhere. Okay, it's just me and little yo-yo today. Yo. What's good? What's good? What's good? Do you know what that is? <laughs> Ain't that um what's that? Fencing. Go on. You know, you know fences oh. an Olympic sport. Uh. Not loud. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, people, the Ten Hawk Fence League. <laughs> if you're not in, if you're not out, but you have Eric Ten Hog doubts, yeah, come join yeah. the Eric, come join the Ten Hog Fence League. Fencing nah, is nah, an nah. Olympic sport. Do you want to be on the down low and support the THDL? No, 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 no. Disgrace. This is a disgrace. <laughs> um, talk to me, though, bro. This morning, we're seeing, um, you're hearing news about Dan Ashworth. We're, basically, we're here. We're basically saying we're willing to wait and we'll just make another plan. There's no, there's I'm no rush. Hearing. I'm hearing. I'm hearing. You know what, man? If Newcastle trying to ask for too much money, let, let, let them wait, man. Move, man. Who are you? Let them wait. <laughs> exactly, man. What is yep. that? The, Hab the Habibis are there. Yep. Hold that. <laughs> Move, man. Who do you think you are? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I like man. That. But then again, um, there's still a black there's still a backup plan for the kind mm. of business where we want to do apparently. Even the names, I'm liking the names that Man United have been linked with this already even there's um you're hearing players they're saying that we're gonna do the south american thing as well where we could go and go and try and pluck south Af um so, sorry south american talent mm. happy with trying that or trying to get the next julian alvarez yeah the next enzo 
Yeah, you're just the right player. You know what? I'm with I'm with it. How many superstars have you seen come from South America? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, is that this? Is that your, that was your John Morgan? No, nah, you know, just wanted to add a little seasoning. Yeah, 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 yeah South yeah. America. Wait, ja- is Javi staying? Javi, is he? Liverpool, no, they're not going to get. I think Liverpool give it, Liverpool fans are giving up on Javi Alonso. Hey, hey let, let me let me quote Stephen A. Smith on that one. Yeah. I'm here to tell you right now, yeah. we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't uh, give a heck, man. Uh, Mr. Romano, hold on. Breaking uh, news. Xavi Alonso said to stay at Bayern Leverkusen with the announcement following in public. Decision made confirmed by Xavi, um, who is staying for one more season. Release clause 2025 will be active. <laughs> will be active. Liverpool and Bayern are both informed of Xavi's. <laughs> well done, Xavi. <laughs> you know what? That's exactly what I would have done too. Xavi Alonso, stay there. Ruin, ruin the monopoly for buying. Beautiful work. Mm, 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 mm. Liverpool I'm... fans right now crying in their cars. <laughs> <laughs> then I think the revolution is going to be televised with Xavi Alonso. Move, man. Who are you? <laughs> Dusty club, <laughs> man. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Uh, here's, here's, my, here's my thesis. Yeah. yeah. This is why I think Xavi Alonso is not going to uh, Liverpool. Yeah. Because yeah. he ain't got, he ain't got veneers like Jurgen Klopp. He hasn't got the veneers, bro. He ain't got the veneers, bro. Oh, the, the veneers. The veneers. <laughs> He's only going to win one title. Not, not the Kudu. No, what is this accent? <laughs> hey, listen. Like, I'll do better accents than you, bro. Don't try it. It's like Scouts Bafana Bafana. Leave. <laughs> hey, they're saying he wants Madrid. Jav- no, Javi Alonso? I'm so pr- I'm so proud of him. Well done, Liverpool fans. Start again. <laughs> Good. Nah, this tour has to hit different. I'm, um, yo, you know what? Southgate to Liverpool. <laughs> Good. Good. Never been staff. That's brilliant news this morning. Brilliant news. Dr. NHS, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I can't complain, you know. Doing well. Um, I done I passed my what do you call it? My driving, you know that <laughs> uh, you know that driving course thing that I had to do yeah, yesterday. Yeah, oh my god. Speed awareness one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done Thank great you. listening. I done great Thank listening. God. <laughs> oh my god. Like yeah. uh, this whole thing is crazy. I'm glad for once Gary Neville is on on Kind of on Ten Hag's side. He's not really on Ten Hag's side, though. Yeah, it's not a glowing of, endorsement. It was a, yeah. it was a light endorsement. Exactly, exactly. And yeah. and hold on one second. <laughs> okay, bye. This doctor is doctoring. Okay. One. Yeah, she's no, really... No, sorry about that. No problem. Family shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh no, but, my god um no but like i feel like previously he's he's been kind of like a, kind of like against like um, it feels like he's been against the manager definitely exactly, that's what i'm trying to say like he's been kind of against the manager and do you know what i feel like somebody in his camp was like just say something nice about him for once you know just say something mm-hmm. nice about him for once. number two my my second thing is glad that uh liverpool i had a dream recently where they ended up like 12 on, on the on the premier league la- and i season. hope that happens and i was like that makes so much sense because the first time i thought they would get relegated hopefully <laughs> I've, I've been wanting for liverpool <laughs> to get relegated it's not gonna happen that relegation yeah. won't happen but yeah, they're but- gonna lose so much when that manager and i need exactly. to know who they're going to bring in next. I exactly. need to know the next name. And I don't think we're going to know till like mid, mid-August. Mid-August. They're probably going to do do like a, a pre-season. Mid-August? With a random pre-season. No, yeah. no, no, no. They have to have a plan. They have to... Liverpool should know who their new manager is right now. Uh, I don't know if, if anybody wants it because it's not an easy job. It's like the United coach, the, the United position. It's not an easy job. And 
Number three. <laughs> I have a question, and I think it's a valid question. Um, yeah. So it's a, like a double barrier question. If Lukaku yes. decided he wanted to come back to Where? United, Where? to United, if it's Lukaku a question, said, guys. It's just a question. If Lukaku decided he wanted to come back to United, would you want? Would you agree? Where? Oh, so wait, hold on. One second. <laughs> I'm not saying I want him back. I'm not saying I want him back. It's just a question. You said what? <laughs> no, it's just a question. I'm are, are, are you te- are you telling me the truth? Are you telling me the truth? You you want you want cages you want his you want his doppelganger back in the club? Uh, uh, doctor, doctor, uh, madam, hey. doctor, madam, doctor. Can you see my profile picture? I am not taking prisoners this morning. I don't like what you see. It is. No, 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 no. Had it been, had it been, I know Yay, you now. You said what? Ha, had it been, I know you yeah. now. Oh, it's just what, what type of what type of take is that, doctor? No, no. Ah, it's just well, a who, question. I, in fact, for I want to know who just left your office now, because yes. maybe it's Lukaku that came in for medical. And he, no, he no, no. You be you be checking you. Eddie Abu for consultation, <laughs> isn't it? Is that, is, was that was that Mrs. Lukaku that just left your office? <laughs> because where did this come up? You know, you know how Africans will discuss, and then at the end she will say, eh, uh, "Consider my husband." You know, uh, you yeah. 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 looking to. You know I, I don't understand. Question. Let me rephrase uh, the question. No, there is no rephrasal. You don't. There, no, it doesn't. It, there's no, nothing no, I rephrase. No, no. You said. You said. You rephrase what you said. it for what now? Yeah. You said what you said. As long as you mention no. Lukaku, there's no rephrasing. There is no. In fact, doctor, I think you need to check your vitals this morning. Because, no, uh, no, I, no, I, I think am not you, sure. I think you need a P, you need a CT scan. I can't lie. That was crazy. I, and yeah. you need to check wow. your vitals this yeah. morning. Let's say the doctor. Let, let just, doctor where was he going? Read. This morning, where was he okay. going with this? If if any okay, if any if you had the chance to get any player, any yeah. any yeah. old player, who would you yeah. want? That's a question. No, so, no, 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 no. Okay. Hey, what you want? No, 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 no. That that's a terrible question. What? Well, why? We are not looking because, for because you see, you see Lakaka do why the charisma you... flick with his left foot. You think he did charisma? It was the it was yeah. the it was the it was the, it was the, it was the uh, setup, and now yeah, the, yeah. Not the because player. you see him do, you see him do charisma. Yeah, you yeah. want to charisma it. himself here? Nonsense. That, that's the one. You know, Lukaku does one skill, one skill a year. That's the exactly, only skill man. for this year. Till next year, nothing again. Nah, what's nothing. What's the, that's all. We, we need to get us ET, MRI, ECG. <laughs> all every yeah, absolutely MRI. Look at yeah. Lukaku single handed well. lost, lost Inter Milan. They lost Inter Milan the finals of the Champions League last season. Let's not forget yeah. that. He had clear he had clear chances to score. Let's not ah. forget that. Because he did one one assist, a doctor. Doc Docenta. Docenta. <laughs> All right. Docenta. Oh, cool. Good morning. Um, you're here. I just wanted to talk to you about a few things. Neville shared his thoughts. He said, Listen, I don't like the names that have been linked to Man United at the moment. Not really um impressed with the um the names there for the new manager. We should keep the same. We should keep the one that we have already. Do you still share the same sentiments as um, Gary Neville? Yes, I'm, I mean clearly. You know, this people have a way of uh, peddling news, uh, and uh, unfortunately, uh, the media will do what they have to do. My my sadness is some Man United fans buy into what they are saying. Yeah, you know, it's very sad. Some Man United fans are trying to defame defame uh, Ashworth, you know, trying to defame Ten Hag, trying to defame basically all of these people, forgetting that these people have uh, let, let's talk about Ten Hag. I mean, look at look at uh, Southgate. Okay, now that uh, uh, Javier Alonso might go to Bayern, will, will Liverpool should collect Southgate. What is there? What is there? They should collect Southgate. Yeah, because they said he's good That's enough for well. us. Yes, exactly, and they're bringing in young players. I'm sure Southgate will. In fact, in fact, I think uh, Rafa Benitez should have a second stint at Liverpool because what is there? Benitez should go back to Liverpool. Absolutely, Rafa Benitez yes. in back yeah, to Liverpool. Yeah. Second stint, so they give him another chance. You know, so it's it's easy for these people to say these things. Uh, Neville said what he had to say, and I think. 
while he didn't back uh, Ten Hag completely, I think his position is good for now. Like, yeah. come on, we don't, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, we regard the Ashworth uh, thing. <laughs> you know, someone literally said this morning uh, that uh, even Kaisido, that it was my United that found him first, and Thanks. Ashworth just uh, poached him. And I, I had to bring an article from the Athletic way back when uh, Brighton signed uh, Kaisido, and I showed the person. I said, you know, when you argue without uh, facts, mm. uh, you stand the chance of being disgraced in public. You understand? McAllister, before they signed Kaisido, they signed McAllister. They've been signing South American players for the longest time under Dan Ashworth. Don't mm. just say things because you want to say it, because uh, you, want to, you want to stand out. Uh, you should have some shame. You should have some shame. Stop doing some things in public, you know. So Ashworth is a good person. You know what is fun about it? I think it's a thing of mind games. Um, Man United and Newcastle, who will blink first. Um, and now they are saying uh, this guy will do, will take care of the transfers. Uh, Omar. Ash, uh, Omar, you know. So here's the thing, right? Ashworth has a nine, nine months uh, uh, period between informing Newcastle when that he's going to leave and when he leaves, when he actually leaves. He informed them in February. So he has till October. Now, what Newcastle are trying to do is they don't want to sell any big player. So they said, uh, let's wait, let my United pay big money for Ashworth. But here's what's going to happen. If we don't bulge till the summer transfer, they will have to sell a big player during the summer transfer window. Yes. And yes. after selling a big player during the summer transfer window, in October, Ashworth will work for free. So it's a lose-lose for Newcastle. So my United fans, calm down. The, our, our board knows what they are doing. Newcastle will have to bulge. Otherwise, they will sell a big player in August and lose Ashworth for free in October. And I don't think they want to do that. So your people should calm down. Don't worry. We will get him for good money. Thank you so much, Uncle. Amazing call this morning. You see when Uncle turned up here like this? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Guns blazing. Guns blazing. <laughs> see like Uncle. Hey, Uncle came in ready to go. Let me read the supers. I appreciate everyone that's given a su drop to super chat today. Um, we need to keep Eric Ten Hag. Give him a year extension. I like it still. That's a proper Ten Hag defense league. Thank you so much. Gifted membership. There's one. Then after we saw Big Up uh, Mount on the UV panel. Um, <laughs> what? Another gifted membership. And another one. Oh, my God. No, seriously, Red Devils Down Under. I appreciate you, fam. Um, again, this guy, this guy, we, we, we done some due diligence, was asking people, was asking what he did yesterday. Where does it stem on, you know, like, where is it? And then after, I think, again, by a technicality, <laughs> he could have been passed. <laughs> Lukaku, the only one to have left us and succeeded. That's not true. Lukaku, the only one to left us and succeeded. Hmm. No, there's a group of players that have left Man United and, and done well. Um, yo, Joe Blackman. THDL! Who's it? THDL! Joe Blackman, please. Yeah, with that fence yeah. sitting over there, you got little yo-yo in here promoting his fence-sitting league, fam. Yeah. Disgusting, disgusting work. Disgusting work. Um, Dusty, listen, I mean, you know what yeah this morning I've noticed that people really can read a bunch of people can read one thing and take a bunch of different thoughts from it yeah? yes because the fence league has taken that as that Southgate is with them yeah and whatever whatever and that you know if a better man comes along to move Ted Hug in the yeah. in the summer that's yes. what that's what yo yo saying Basically. you know what I took it as I took it as the man said at face value he says Back the man while he's here. That's what he said. Mm, is that how you read the, said, is that how you is that how you read the poem? He said back him while he's here. He never said that he wants to keep him. Yeah. But this is I'm all I'm, this is all I'm asking from the fence league. Yeah? yeah. Back him while he's here, fence league. Yeah. <laughs> Get off the damn fence. Hey, don't give them, don't 
if you help and acknowledge their name, yeah, you're actually respecting them as a group, bro. I mean, can't we can't we can't we're not giving them all right, we're not even giving the acknowledgement, all right. Yeah, because that means that that group is real, bro. We're now saying that it's a real thing. But uh, they can do what they want, innit, yeah? If they want to sit themselves on a fence, on a picket fence, fam, yeah? What is that doing to themselves? <laughs> right? Um, for <splinters>. Because... <laughs> I don't want to say it, yeah? As for my show, I leave it, innit? <laughs> uh, but listen, on a real note... <laughs> I believe it. Even Figgy, what's what's it? Where is he? He said this. Mo party. Wait, no, someone. Where is he? Where is he? He said this is the maddest civil war ever. <laughs> Bro, do you know the funny thing is, yeah, the way I see it, yeah, yeah. If you're saying to move Ten Hag in the summer, then you're not really fence anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah? yeah. You're not really fence anyway. If you're trying to just find someone better, then you're not really on the fence. You don't really want the man here. Let's yes. just. Forget your fence. Knock down your fence, innit? Just stay over yeah. there. Either you're over there or you're over here, fam. Yeah? I don't even know who created... I hate this group, bro. <laughs> I know who created it. It was Little Yo-Yo, fam. Little Randall was the person who created it. I was there when he made it, fam. Yeah? <laughs> Mr. Randall himself. But anyway, enough yeah. about the Ten Hag defense, dude. Yeah? yeah? I'm going to tell you this right now, right? Gareth Southgate to, to Liverpool, definitely. Southgate to Liverpool, 100%. Bro, Southgate they ain't got no one. Oh, where's my phone? This would have been a great time to call Drifty and say, yo, Javi Alonso's <laughs> not coming. Oh, he ain't coming, man. Bro, oh, the way I see it right now, yeah, Liverpool might as well go and sweep up Southgate. Yeah? Need him. They might as well go and sweep up Southgate. Listen, he's not going to be making it um, any further than the Euros or anything like that. Past this summer, so you know what, you guys sweep him up, have him, have him. That's the guy yeah. that you need to bring your club where you need to be, fam. Yeah, good with I'm the promoting young Southgate man. for Liverpool. Yeah, 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 absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> this is the new campaign I'm running. Southgate to Liverpool all day long. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna retweet that. So make sure when you put that up, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah, because it's true. And I, I want to see the pundits and the journalists. They said he's done such a great job with England. Why yeah, and that it should be good for Man United. So why is he not good for Liverpool then? You see how these people work? Perfect. Exactly. And that's because you know there's an agenda. All we want to do is unveil it because they will never link him with that job. Never happen. How can he get one of the biggest clubs in world football? We're talking about we're talking about guys that could have won the quadruple. We're talking about that team, bro. He has to go there. It makes yeah, sense. Of course. If he's that good, if he's that good, bro, why not? I mean, yes. he's homegrown. Yeah, the English yeah. fans should love him. You know, he knows the homegrown talent. You know, come on, people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All day long, Liverpool. Yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. where he belongs. We've already got a manager. We're not looking yeah. for anybody. That's what I see. It. Yeah, our manager's got a year left. Your manager's leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, obviously, we've got Brentford and Chelsea. How many points are we going to get from these games, bro? What are you talking about? That's six points. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh my god! Listen, I had this conversation yesterday on Botswana's channel, fam. Yeah, that's six points. Who's talking to me? Why are we not having six points out of the two games? Shut up, it. blood. Yeah, and oh. also, and Tottenham's gonna lose, fam. What? To Luton. Yes, that's what I said yesterday. What? Yes, no. It's gonna happen. Why? It's Why not? Losing. Tottenham if lose. If they do, yeah, if they, I've got to do a presser. I must bro, do a, I have no choice. It, bro, that, that that Australian guy's got to turn up, mate. You know what right. I mean? <laughs> All right, Kaiji Koglo, mate. <laughs> Kaiji Koglo, <Kogler>, mate. <laughs> Listen, that's my that's my take from this weekend, isn't it? Yeah. I said it yesterday and I'll say it again. Yeah. Man United. We're gonna win. We're gonna beat we're gonna beat Brentford. Yeah. And then we're gonna beat Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. Why do people think that Chelsea all of a sudden turned the corner and they're gonna do something to us, but shut up, lad. Yeah, we got this. I love Joe. Joe Blackman is the guy, man. That's chest. That is the difference. Even that's what I was asking for him when Arsenal fans are calling. And I tell them, "You're talk You've got a thingy. You got City on the weekend. What are you telling me?" <laughs> All right. Seven kids deep. You stayed. Of There's been a stay of execution, bro. You made it. Um, <laughs> you're back yeah, again. Um, how are you this morning? 
Oh, you mean this evening? It's 10 p.m. <laughs> very true. Very true. Where you are, yeah. it's really late. Oh, that's probably why Kennedy struggles with the energy because it's late. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure if he's only recently to Australia or, or whatnot, but um, I don't think he's, I'm not sure he's adapted to the, the, the jet lag. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you call it? So anyway, um, where do you want to go with this, man? We're trying to, we're really pushing for Southgate to be the new Liverpool manager in this community. Yes. Um, now nah, he must case, he must case, he must case. <laughs> he must case. <laughs> it was a geographical uh, bet, a geographical um, a ge- a loophole. Geographical case is a geographical <laughs> case. <laughs> so anyway, um, Bro, talk to me, man. There's a lot happening. Gary Neville has yeah. said, you know what, keep the manager because there's no one better. Where are you with things? Well, I'll start on Liverpool. Uh, one thing that a lot of people aren't mentioning is Salah could potentially go into Saudi if they're still interested. You've got Van you've got Van Dyke and Trent that are still awaiting contract renewals, so we don't know if they're going to be sticking around. And if Klopp goes, I wouldn't be surprised if Allison leaves as well because he's been there for, for time as well. You could see a mass player exodus from Liverpool. That's something not a lot of people are thinking about. Allison, I couldn't see Allison wanting to leave, but then I saw I saw a Real Madrid fan yeah do a team like do eleven with Trent in their team, mm. and I thought, what? what? Where did that happen? How did that happen? And I was there's interest like, there. This is what I'm saying. I never knew there was mm. a, bro. That I was so shocked. He done this thing. He done this potential eleven, and I thought, I saw yeah, yeah. And then I goes, what? How? <laughs> like. But then Trent yeah. is he available for is he need does he need to sign a new deal? I don't understand. I, I think I think there's some negotiations. I, I I'd have to double check because there's Liverpool fan in the group in one of the group chats I'm in that there's there's been there's been words of Trent um I'm not gonna, I'm not for a new gonna, deal, same as Virgil. Sources back to Flex and what do you call it? Because they clearly yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> that, that, those. <laughs> Yeah, 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 so um, the, the, also speaking, you're speaking to a recent convert of the Ten Hag Defence League. Thanks very much. <laughs> yes, um, courtesy of Joe Blackman and Back End Entertainment stream last night, I jumped on and I'm like, you know what? We may as well. Why not? Like that <laughs> FA Cup result, that FA Cup result got me back on board. I saw, I saw something. I don't know what it was that I saw, but I saw something. Well um, yes, and you know what? Just, just give him the time. No, no point change of managers, no point all of this. And whatever Gary Neville says, I mean, I don't know if he has an England bias or if he just wants something like a mate of his to go in there. Who knows? Well, but no, because he's not really. He's been he's worked with Gareth and he hasn't given him a back in there. So he should have given him a glowing mm. endorsement, but he knows what's going on. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, uh, what he, he did. <laughs> The Valencia, I think, like he's he's not a manager himself, so I don't think you know the intricacies is different from being a manager to a pundit. So, you know, I, I wouldn't really take anything he says too seriously yeah. when it comes to appointments. But look, um, the grand scheme of things, I just think we need to wait and see what happens. I mean, these these men aren't even in post yet. Yeah, Barada, Ashworth, and uh, until until this until they're in post and we see the movements, it's very hard to say how we're going to look next season. Do you think so? Will your opinion change if we don't do well in the next, like, see these games that we got coming up? If this yeah. doesn't go our way, would you switch to the fence league? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm never sitting on the fence. That shit's uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want those splinters in my cheeks. No way. No way. <laughs> you know, when it gets to the end of the call, I just don't even tell him I'm getting rid of him. He just goes, bro, because he leaves, or he always goes out with a bang, you know. Antonio. Hey, how are you doing? I'm very well, man. How are you? I'm good. You know, it's been a while since I've been up here. It's like 4 a.m. Yes. right now. I'm where I'm at. Oh, where, where, whereabouts in the whereabouts in the world are you? I'm in the US. Come on! <laughs> USA. Hey, are you watching <laughs> WWE by the way? Um, sometimes. Bro, it, it depends. Looking, it's getting good right now. Anyway, we move. Um the floor's yours. Before I want to start. I've been watching all the streams, even though I haven't yes. been on. And like you know, when that take about McGinn and our midfield, I had nightmares for a couple of days. Bro, it did. It, no, <laughs> it, it, you know that McGinn take here yeah, has the community has never been the same again. <laughs> the Dude. community really suffered and struggled, and it was it's all Charles's fault, and he doesn't feel any way about it. 
he's confident about it. It's where it is. I anyway. think he deserved one more ban, like one more day ban. Well, just again, in our midfield doing nothing, zero passes, yeah. zero tackles, just taking up space, man. Yeah, yeah. He had, <laughs> it was disgusting what he did. Um, they said he got a great mic as well. Anyway, um, talk to me, man. Where you, like, what's your thoughts on things? You know, we got the build-up to Brentford, that game. I don't know if you want to talk about that and the players that you want to see in that or just um, Gary Neville's takes or just Dan Ashworth. Um, first, I want to say, if it was me, I would yeah. give Ten Hag a new contract. That's how great I feel about Ten Hag. Because all the names what? we're hearing are yeah. criminal. You're giving Ten Hag a new contract? Yeah. like, Because I don't want, like, Southgate, I don't want any other names that have been linked to us. Imagine downgrading because you, you don't feel comfortable where you're at. So, like, you're, you're at a job that pays 100K, but yeah. you're sad there. Um, but you want to go and like get a job that pays 50k, but you still will be set at that same job that pays the same like lower amount. That makes no sense to me. So I want Ten Hag to give him a chance with this new like structure and see where it goes. Especially how he's developing the young guys. Like in a couple yeah. more years, and imagine like when um Garnacho is even like he's gonna be better in a couple years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Manu will be better in a couple years. I feel like Ten Hag is building a structure where youth will come up and, like, we, we need someone to help him, like, uh, bring players in because he's not good at that. But, yeah, I, I will give Ten Hag another year. I like one more it. thing about Liverpool. Yes. We need Southgate to Liverpool. We need Southgate to Liverpool. He's they don't know what's good years. for them. Yeah, we no, need to make sure they know that. We need to know. Make Liverpool. I read your, I read your super chat as well. Here it is. Um, Southgate to Liverpool, make Liverpool great again. Absolutely. We need to sell that train. We need to make sure Liverpool fans know that, like, Im imagine all the good players that would come to them. Maguire to Liverpool. Imagine. Sterling um, back to Liverpool. Imagine. Even Jared as well. He'll cross the lines, cross enemy lines. And stand <laughs> Bro, everyone will play for Liverpool. All the English FC. This is what we need. We need that. And no, while you're like at it, bring McGinn to Liverpool too. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even English. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Antonio, wicked cool man. Big up yourself. Um, Giselle though. Good you are on. What's going on? Good morning. How are you feeling? This how are you feeling? Good, today? good, good, good. Talk to me. So I see you guys worried about this Dan Ashworth thing, but you gotta understand what Dan Ashworth is coming in to do. Then it's not a worry, you know. Talk to me. So what do you think he's coming in to do? He's going to build this thing from the back room up. Barada is the guy taking care of all the transfers, and Barada is going to be here. Mm -hmm. So we're good. Wait, so wait. So Omar Barada is going to do the... I don't understand. Because what's he building? I don't, help me out. Let me, let me understand what you're getting with this. The structure, the team, you know, the guys like coming in from Southampton. Whoever is going to snatch from um, his old job, Newcastle, and these kind of people. So you're telling me that he's just going to build up his own, what, negotiation team? Yeah, the backroom staff, all these people and the structure in United, the culture and all these things. He's going to work on that part of the thing. Brad is the one who is going to do the wheeling and dealing. I thought that was the job of the... I thought that, that was going to be um, Dan Ashworth's job. Really? Nah, in terms of nah. He's going to be involved. Uh, uh, decision's going to go through, you know, Ashworth and Barada, but Barada is going to be the real negotiator. He's going to be on sitting at the table. And he's going to be here. Yeah, and now he, I can't wait for this guy to get here, man. And we're forgetting that my man Blanc is still around as well. Like, there's some people, there's, there's good people around in the business already <laughs> at the moment. So we, we have to kind of I want to be relaxed. I want to be excited, but it's the summer's going to let us know everything. The yes, summer, how definitely. Quick, how quick we do moves is going to let us know what Man United is on this season. because And, and the kind of moves that we do. Yes. Yes. So yeah, we, because we brought in a player and we spent like, even um, Braithway, I think that's his name, how you say it. If we brought him in for 70 million, I a little part of me, I wouldn't be happy with that, you know? Because I no. think, we, I feel like there's that's there's no difference in we could have done that under any other management. I want to bring in players where it's like, oh wow, that's that's an interesting one. 
and getting rid of players too. Very important. Brand weight, brand weight. Is that was it? Yeah. Brand that's it. Yep. And getting rid of some of the guys, the, the Sanchez's of this world and Sancho's and these people, oh, we get them out, you know? Hey, hey, they're saying, they're saying, hey, people are saying, they're calling you out right now, saying, man saying the CEO's going to be negotiating, negotiating. For, but they've just said that, though, today. Let's bring Lil Yoyo again. Lil Yoyo, why are you laughing at him for? They said that no, Omar was going to take on the Yeah, he's, he's going to be doing it temporarily. But yeah. from what, unless uh, he, this, what he's saying is Barad is going to be the guy doing it always. No, he's not. They're getting, they're going to be getting the right people in to do the finances, but t uh, temporarily Barad may cover it whilst we're trying oh. to get in Ashworth. Giselle, though, you have any response to that? What kind of deals did Ashworth do at Newcastle or Brighton? Oh, here we go. Press the Stormzy button. Press the Stormzy back because no, he ain't got All the deals that were done at Brighton and Newcastle, most of the deals in Newcastle were done before Asher got there. That, which is not true. No, it's not. No, he no, he didn't. So I Asher, don't know who did, the, who did the business because they keep saying when it's when it's the players that they rate, they say it was Newcastle and Brighton, they did it without him. And then when it goes wrong to Nali, they say it was him. Listen, th these people are just trying to make narratives to fit their agenda, whether Ash was the guy or whether he's not the guy. At the end of the day, there's supposed to be someone who's in charge of doing the transfers. What you're saying is the whole, the big CEO <clears throat> is going to be doing these uh, negotiations. We already have people in the club that are doing it. I think the CEO will be giving guidance to the people on whether they should go ahead with the deal. They're obviously, the people are going to come back to him and going to say, oh, Listen, this is what we've been offered for, let's say, Maguire. Do and you that's Ashworth. This? And that's Ashworth. Not, 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 not necessarily, no. So what are you saying then? Here this summer. You're saying for this summer, it won't be Ashworth if we're still negotiating, going back and forth with... Uh, uh, Barada will be, be taking care of those negotiations, not Ashworth. Not, not necessarily, no. He'll be a part of it, but he's not the main guy that's going there and talking to every single player all, all these other clubs or whatever. No, got, of course not. They got but... they got Matt Hargreaves already there. They got uh John Murto even for the time being if he was mid. But yeah, of course not. But KG is running this channel. You have Yo Yo who talk to people, but yeah, KG yeah. still have to give the, the nod. Yeah, KG still the have nod, to give the what, nod. That's but you said Barad is going to be directly negotiating. That's what no, said. not negotiating. He's going to be in That's charge, directly KG, in charge did, did, of all the negotiating. He's going to be in didn't charge you, did, of it. You, you just, you he's just not said gonna it now. Fly he's out. directly in charge. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not going to fly out. Which is what he's I not going to fly out like Murta to Spain and talk to the guys. I He's going to against Giselle, though. Mash it up. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> no, you, they said he's in charge of negotiating. What does that mean? Oh, I am talking to the person who's who's going to be getting the deals in for the club. That's what that means. In charge of negotiating means giving this sign off that, yes, I want this guy for this amount of money. Not that I'm going to walk around with a briefcase. Uh, it is a pointless argument. <laughs> the... <laughs> you don't care. You look at doing them semantics on your own. <laughs> Fam, why are you bringing <laughs> waffle with water sauce? Oh, that was funny, though. Wait, hold on. Mark N's got beef with Joe Blackman. What's going on? I saw that in the chat. Bro, we are not beef, bro. On? What's yeah, going you on? listen. <laughs> I just, I you know what? You had the old that you always on the fence, no bro. beef, but this. Look, man, he had the audacity to say that I've been on the fence halfway through the season. Does he know who I am, lad? Does it, yeah, bro, he guy more lies. When, bro, look, look, KG. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did did Joe Blackman ever utter the words Ken Hog Dow? I wait. What's Joe? Go Blackman? on, anybody. Go on, anybody. Anybody. Go on. I'm waiting for it. There's no wage. I feel you gotta bring. Are you mad? Guy. Do you know how long? I've, listen, where's Pav, fam? Do you know how long I've had this bet with Pav, fam? Do you know how long I've had this bet with Pav, bruh? Yeah. Who's Wait, this and who's this? Oh, uh, uh, Preem, Preem's in here, and so's John Morgan. Wait, did he ever like? Did he ever? 
Talk to me. That's a good question. Was there a moment? I think there was a. There must have been a moment. There I was. Know, I, I don't even know. I'm here for it. What Joe moment was a ten hug out man until he got flipped Joe onto the side? Mad. Joe did something. Are you mad. stupid? This, did you say ten hug out? Okay. No, I don't think he was out. ten hug out. There, but I think he was on defense. So out. Are yeah, oh, you no yeah, no? You better gonna get me mad. You know yeah, what people yeah, are about yeah. to tell to shut up. Even <laughs> listen, we'll discuss Joe's case without Joe and bring it back in, <laughs> <laughs> guys. Now thinking about it, I. Re- there must have been a day. It was Joe early on within the season. It was early Joe on within Coulton the season. Joe and said something, and he was like, and I was like, Joe, was, was it Joe? Or am I mistaken Joe for Yo-Yo? It's Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo was the one that said Tenag out, and then he denied it. Right? Because you still asked, you still asked Yo-Yo, Yo-Yo, are you going to do this? So we said, like, I can't, man. I yeah, 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 yeah. And, and then, yeah, he, yeah, and then yeah, he said, yeah. no, I didn't do that. So then he ran away. Uh, Joe on the other hand, because when he said Tenak Defense League, I was surprised. Because I was like, oh, you Tenak in. Because I didn't know he was Tenak in. That's so, the thing for me too. I mean, I know he had a bet with Pav, but I was like, when he's Tenak Defense League, I was like, bro, I the only one. Wait, wait, no, he, did have that, he did have that bet with Pav, which lets us know. He said to Pav early in the season, I'm with this manager and he will still be here. And him and Pav have got the big bet. There's a lot of money on that as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm crying, but I bet for the whole Joe, season. I swear, Joe was... <laughs> listen, listen, he listen, was listen, guy, listen, he was listen, him, yes. listen, yeah? Yes, it all him. started on... KG, it all started, yeah? On the show that you granted me on your channel. Good, bad, and ugly, yeah? Yes. Have came and was chatting shit about my manager, Yeah. And he was like, I bet you 150 pounds, Joe, that he won't be here next season. And I said, Blood, I will bet you 200 pounds that he will be here next season. Shut your mouth. So what you man all telling me now, when the hell was I ever turned hard out? I said, give the man three seasons. What the hell are you talking about? I came in here and said THDL for the first time. Or all you man stupid. Shut up. I, I I, I, I said it as well, bro. I was trying to find the phrase. Yes, bro. you yeah. you echoed my chamber, fam. But shut up, man. Are you you are trying to tell me, yeah, that you are trying to. Nah, nah, nah. Maybe it was my room, man. I called you, right, bro. I called it the EDL. That for now we can't put the EDL. Yeah, we can't put it. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I remember that. Stay, fam. That's that's right, bro. I'm just gonna join. I, no I was there as well. We co-signed it together. Yeah, bro. yeah, 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 yeah. He tried to take credit, fam. He tried nah. to that the thing, fam. He tried to anyhow the situation when it's a Dan Ashworth thing, fam. Don't try it, bro. <laughs> bro, you're dumb. If you remember, I'll go back to the stream, you know, and we were trying to call it E T H L. Yeah? That's what I'm saying. E T H. Well, with the E T H D L something like that. Yeah. I was there. I was involved in the chat. Don't even try it. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. one of the co-signers of the T H D L fam. Yeah. Go. Don't ramp it. Move, man. I remember how it went, fam. I called us the EDL, fam. And then after, I was like, that don't work. That was a stream before it even went out to the community. Then we done our mm. masterminds and we all came together and we all thought, wait, what's the right one, fam? And we and we we did it in the stream, bro. THDL, bro. Don't ever take credit for the whole thing that the community did, bro. <laughs> yeah, Joe Batman's not for the people. So I hear it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> no, he's he will let be president of the Defense League, man. Because you know, all of us here on the chat, all of us here in this yeah, frame, yeah, frame yeah, right yeah. now, we've been back any manager we, from the beginning. Are we infighting within the within the? T- <laughs> no, no, I can't handle infighting. We just have a, <laughs> yeah. Let's stop the infighting. Let's stop the fighting. It's so all love. What are we doing? What are we doing? Nah, nah. This nah, is what. This is what. This is what Yo Yo want. Yo Yo sitting back with popcorn right now, looking at us like. Yes, like Randall, like you, yo, yo. like Mr. Berg, like this. excellent. Yeah, <laughs> I want to address that thing because yeah. I think that's actually diabolical. The fact that you can champion the fact that you don't know where you want to be, you don't know if you want to be on the train or if you want to be on the station, you yes. don't know where you want to be. Now, you want to make it a, a, a thing where support the team, support the manager, even if you've there we go. Wrong, that's what I'm saying. saying. Support the team. Don't come here and champion your fence league. You want to champion your fence league because you don't want to be called out when you're wrong or when you're right. So mm. now you Do you know what I'm calling that- it? Yes. You know what I'm calling it now? I'm calling it the splinter league. Bum splinter league. That's what yeah, it is, fam. Why are you man entertaining yeah? it, though? You meant, like, Joe, you... No, I'm changing league. the name. They can call it fence league. It's splinter league, and we know what we're talking about. Splinter league, fam. That's what you're having. 
<laughs> yeah, because uh, no. my thing is, right, if you can't, if you can't yes, take no. leaks with us, if you can't take leaks with us, then what's the point? The bums in the league, bro. BSL. Good. No, this is the way I see it, bro. You have to have, you got to stand on something, innit, yeah? And like I said, yeah, you see what I say? When people read things and they take different points from it, bro, I heard the man say, while the guy's here, he might not even back him fully, innit, yeah? But all you fence is that he was trying to join that fence league, you, the Splinter League, try and know this, yeah? If you can't make up your mind on something, you stand on nothing. Hundred. Mm. Right, so let me ask you a question. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Oh. No, no, go on. Ask the question, bro. Um, what are you um extending ten hours contract like the previous caller said? Of course, no, but no. I said give him two more years and we're going to challenge for the league. What Remember, I said that years. two years, yes. two years, bro. I'm saying two more years. If he gets this year and next year, we're already challenging for the league. That's what I said. Two years. What? Give him the extra year. Bro, if you give my man a new contract, I send a message to the players that they have to perform. If not, they, they got to call. Yeah, they got to do something. Because the thing anyway, is, anyway, THDL. There you go. Because <laughs> I mean, if you don't, if you, if you uh, buy signing these new players, and now you come in as a as a new owner, the players are thinking Jaden Sancho is in Dortmund, thinking that he's going to um he's going to get a chance. And if you sign in now on a longer contract, you tell all these players that they don't know what's going on. This is where we're going in, in into the future. Because at the moment, you have a problem with Dan Ashworth, where you don't know when he's starting. You have a problem with Omar Barada, if you don't know if he's going to start in the summer. We don't know when he's going to start. So all of a sudden, you have a manager who every single media outlet wants out. So if you sign him as a, as a, as a long-term future, you send a clear message to the fans, a clear message to the players, a clear message to the media. This is where we're going. Stop disrespecting my manager. <laughs> Consistently get reports about disrespect to the manager because the, the, the new owner is not taking control. Sign the guy. We'll put him I on a long, long contract. I, I love that. I, I just yeah. don't want here. Yeah, I just don't want, listen, when things go up and things go bad, the fans are flip-flopping. I don't want that. I'm here with you, John. I'm here with you. But please, yeah. when the things go bad, let's be in it together. Do you get me? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't want to hear... I want no flip flops. Oh, Ten Hag out. Oh, why did we extend it by two years? Oh, why did we? Why did we? Do you get me? I don't want to yeah, hear yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is so, it right now. You know what? If we're doing that, if we're doing that, yep. I'm here. Yeah. Three solid work. Hey, are you not saying you're going to keep the same energy? 100%. I know, Marcus. I know, Marcus. Yeah, yeah, Bro, John, listen. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Had a, you had a, if there's one thing, you had to stand on business like you were always saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm back in this manager since we as fans wanted Ten Hag, you know, bro. We was all up in arms when we signed Ten Hag and yes. he had a good first season. He overachieved. But listen, the rebuild never really fully started. How many outgoings has we had compared to other teams who started rebuilds? How many signings have we had to other more. teams who rebuild their squads? We didn't do much. So this yeah. guy, we still in a rebuild, bro. I back in the manager, bro. I see it improve. <laughs> Can we win these next two? Because we've got um, two games coming up. Actually, you guys can help me with this. Um, the team that you want to see start, can we win Brentford away? Hoyland um, I think we... Yeah, I think we... I think we I think we win that comfortably because of the players that we have back. Um, I don't think, for me personally, KG, I don't think the league understands the, how good our team is with all our players is there. When we have Lissandra Martinez, when we have Rasmus Hoyland, when we have Garnacho, um, and, we, and we have um, Kobe. The, the league doesn't know how to deal with all of these players playing in one in one league. So for me personally, I think we've been playing comfortably and I think we go to Chelsea and we give them a good game and I think that we... <laughs> Mom, they drag back. So yeah, that's what I think. I think we I think we win comfortably Brentford and I think we go to Chelsea and we... Comfortably. 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 It's an eight o'clock kickoff. Like KG, KG, I, I'm gonna tell you something right now. We will we will get when we get nine points in three games, I will be there right in your channel. Right <gasps> Write it down. <laughs> clip it, guys, clip it. Clip it. Oh my god. Nine points on the board. Nine points on the board. Yeah. I 100%. hope you'll be there. If you will be there. So if it doesn't go away, will you still be here? I was still we here. here. We posted like like the stop sign, bro. <laughs> we will be there, no matter what. Uh, we here. should do it though. I I think again, I think it's it's possible because we win these two games. It's the next one's Liverpool, right? Yeah. No Chelsea. 
No, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Next two games, he, he will two mash games them up. Game. He will smash Chelsea all the way. Hundred <sighs> percent. This is it's a real week, you know, guys. Just prepare here because that nonsense is going to start again. The media are just waiting to get busy. They so, are they are waiting. So so I'm waiting, saying right waiting. now, send yeah. the message. We have to send the message in the next week. <laughs> get all yeah. nine points, and and the uh, Liverpool. Uh -oh. Like. Uh oh, wait. Southgate you... to Liverpool. Southgate to Liverpool. It it has to be on. Liverpool fans, you're going to hold that for the next 30 years, ladies and gentlemen. And yes. I will be there to laugh at 63. it. 63. Back up the percentage. You plug the charger in. Big up to Kevin. Big up, bro. Because <laughs> he was, I felt like the battery was dying, fam. No, he, was looking, he was just connecting the charger, not to be sure. No? So he was, yeah. you know. <laughs> All right, wait. Um, What do you call it, guys? So. Talk to me in terms of what's our what's our eleven then that we're getting into this Brentford game and how do we get it done? I know he's saying it should be easy, but um, yeah, Mark, and I'll let you start with the back four, bro. Juan Basaka at left back again. Oh, you're not moving him back to the right? No, no, no. Keep him at the left. You know, I feel like he performed really well, and then you want him to 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 take out Wisa no? every chance he gets. You want him to put yeah. a tackle in on Wisa. You know, yeah. leave the that, Ooh, that low on the right. <laughs> Kenny, 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 turn down the solar power, bro. <laughs> oh my god, big up, bro, big up. You I know, but you know, one Basaka left back, bro. I, I mean, if we could get a Johnny Evans or or Lissandro starting in the left in the left center back next to Varan. 100%. So that will finish off the back line for me. I already know now, not starting, so yeah. No, he's he's he turned down the solar power. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Sorry, that's killed me. Go on, midfield. We didn't. Um, we didn't. Um, uh, John Morgan. Midfield, surprising, yeah. surprising. But it's it's time for Mason Mount to show us what Mason Mount can do. All right. Okay. Casemiro's coming back from injury. Let's not risk him because yep. of the fact that we have Chelsea coming up and we have Liverpool coming up. So yep. I'm playing Kobe, Sir Holding. Right, I'm playing Bruno in the eight, and I'm playing um, Mount here as another number eight. All right, so we have two eights and one six, or yeah, because they both of them kind of a hybrid eights and tens together. So um, that's what I want to see because I think that we we're going to have a lot of the ball. All right, um, and I think with 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 if you, if we can start Lissandro Martinez, and then all of a sudden you have Bruno pulling strings from just outside outside of the box. And you yes. have players like Mason Mount making in darting runs. I think that will be fantastic for us. And I think that will keep bringing us a lot of value. All right. Kennedy, um, bring us home. What are you doing in that front? And if Ahmad didn't get the red card, would he be playing for you? Would he be starting for you? The floor is yours. Uh, I will start with the same same trio. Rashford on the left. Rasmus Hoyland up front. Garnacho on the right. Okay. Mm. All right. Wicked. So to you lot, give me your predictions. What's the score going to be? 4-1 United. <laughs> Mark ain't playing 4 1 United. Um, let me get rid of Mark. Big up, Mark. Thank you for today, bro. Um, John Morgan, what are you telling me? What's the score going to be? 3 0. Rasmus Brace. I want a Rasmus Brace. 3 0. Okay. See you later. Thank you so much, man. Kennedy, you had to bring Six it nil home. United. <laughs> How much? 6 0. Kennedy, you're the man, man. <laughs> Look after yourself, stay man. We have to be reckless. We got to be reckless today. <laughs> Six nil. Oh man, you lot. Um, let me quickly read this. Um, the last of the super chats and get out of here. Listen, it's wow, big up, man. This is incredible. Um, wait, let's. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. Larry talking to us every day. Thank KG. <laughs> no, you, that's funny though. Um, uh, big up though, I appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, payday weekend. I'm in the reckless club, bar minimum. Thank you so much, man. Powerful soup. Um, respect to you every single time, man. Like Joe Diddy and John Meek Mill. What <laughs> one time football being? Oi, remember when I won that? What'd you call it? When I won that, um, the Euros and I ran home with the money, fam. Yo, the sports, never forget. Um, Giselle, though, big up to you, man. Gifted five memberships. Oh my god, it's five time. 
Thank you so much. Really appreciate you lot. Everyone have a great good Friday. Again, make sure, man, if you if you got family members, try to spend time with them. If you ain't got family members, but you got good friends, go we'll spend time with them, innit? Spend time with someone, man. Look after yourself. Have fun. I'm out. Peace. Jump bomb, 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 bomb. Back, back, back with a vengeance. KG's back with an entrance. Big up to those in attendance. Ooh, look at that. Reds come together like Tetris. No rules, this one's reckless. KG, this one's crazy. You're too lucky. Bro, none can compare with the KG done. Better take cover when he drops that. Bon, bon, Going on bon. reckless, trust it's on. It's that time when he drops that. Bon, bon, bon. I said drop a bomb, Dad. <laughs>